Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to my Fallout 4 Far Harbor series where today we are back over here at the Vim Pop Factory in the middle of one heck of a radiation storm as well of course in the last episode we finished getting all of those memories and well now I'm interested to see what happens with them and the one that intrigued me the most is this Dima's secret medical facility. I'm wanting to know what in the hell Dima did that he thinks might make Far Harbor enemies of him. He was unsure, he, well, well, hmm, let's rephrase that. He was wanting to make sure Far Harbor didn't become enemies, so he did something that might make Far Harbor even more mad at him, I guess is the best way to put it from what I remembered of that memory. So I want to see that one first. The other of uh, getting the location key and the wind farm code, etc. We'll do those later, blah, 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 blah. But this one, this one has lore implications. So I've traveled us here, so let us just head right on inside and find our way through the factory. Hmm... Now, off camera, of course, I did go and do a whole lot of, uh, you know, general housekeeping things. Repaired my power armor. Though, oh, I didn't do, do that, did I? Nope, I forgot to fix, uh, uh I forgot to fix Nick. He still only has, has one leg working. Okay, oh well, what are you gonna do? <laughs> I remember to fix my power armor, but not his. Eh, oh well, he's just, he's an NPC fighter, he'll he'll live. Literally, he'll live, he, he doesn't get killed, he just gets knocked down for a little bit. And I shouldn't have to worry about any bad guys in here since we did clear the place. But you never know, and apparently... Oh, fine, apparently the way life should be, find out Dima's secret is what we just started with automatically coming in here. Huh. Alright, so we're no longer on the best left forgotten, which are the codes. Okay, so the way life should be. And that way, apparently. Alright, well, let's go through here. What do uh what do we what do we got here? What do we got? Oh god, this pl I remember this place being somewhat of a labyrinth, so I'm a little bit uh worried about how long it may take us to find whatever we're trying to do here. Uh, ooh, maybe down that way is where I need to be, perhaps. Let's check in here. Oh yeah, I forgot to go and loot this, but how do I get this door open? I still never figured that out. Huh. Oh yeah, see, the, yeah, oh, yep, down there, down there, I see the little waypoint. Excellent. Okay, down we go. Ugh. Friggin' super mutants, man. Just making everything horrible. I mean, come on, putting people on hooks? Who does that besides you and raiders? Ah, oh, boy. Okay, okay, well, we have some things. Stim packs, I'll take those. Duct tape is always useful. I got a pretty good track record cracking those old things. Uh huh. You want me to take a swing at that? I mean, I kind of do, but at the same time, I think I can do this one since it's a novice. <laughs> oh, I do hate hacking in this game, though. Ah. Uh... Not that it's badly made, it's actually quite a well-made hacking mechanic as far as game hacking mechanics go. It's just for some reason, I've said it before, I'll say it again. Even though I understand how it all works, I've read, uh, you know, instructions of how to do it, for some reason my brain just seizes up whenever I get into one of these darn things. So, what do we have? Uh, wakes? No. No. Nope, back out. <laughs> uh, let's try this again. All right, we got Pax Town today. Broke. Claws going. Betty. No, definitely not Betty. Ha. <laughs> ha. Uh, uh, Nick, maybe you should get in here, buddy. <laughs> no, no, let's try it again. Uh, let's see, Lance, Boots, Shops, Gangs, Loose, Spark, Surge. Really? That's the only one on this column? Huh. So none of those. There we go. Alright, security door control. 
open. Excellent. And we're through. Uh, metal helmet, no. 10 millimeter pistol, no. Don't care about any of you. Baton, no. Down we go. All right, a magical elevator. Let's do this. No, oh, Nick actually got in for a change. Usually he waits outside and then magically pops. Oh, he's magically disappeared now. Oh, oh now he's magically appeared. All right, let's get a gun out. Ground floor? Really? Hello? Anyone home? Meh. That doesn't look like anyone's in here. Or has been in here for a very long time. Oh, lovely radiation water. That's what everyone wants. Signs of life detected. What? Scanning. What? If you need assistance, please approach the intercom. Um. Uh, okay. I mean, should I? There's there's a floor there. Well, let's talk to the intercom. Kyle. Scanning. Or Kai. Approved user detected. Uh huh. Prototype. Unlocking medical area door. How? Just who are you? Well, glad I brought Nick. 1.1, a computer intelligence designed to control medical facilities, specifically the room through that door. You match all specifications for an approved user. Personally speaking, they were very narrow. Yeah. This must be Dima's handiwork. Guess he never thought another prototype synth would be on the island. Too true, Might too true. Well grab anything useful we find in there. <laughs> oh, trust me, I will. I loot everything. Alright, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Okay, let's see. We got things. Whoop. Did I just hear an alarm for bell thing? Oh, boy. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Taking the microscope. Anything with aluminum, and there's bloody handprint. Uh, why? Why? Alright, what do we got down here? Okay, some dead... Oh my god, what in the hell is Demon doing with all this? I mean, I'm gonna take it. Almost all of it. December's Child? Nice. Lighter uses 556 ammo. 25% faster, 50% load speed. Eh... Meh, yeah, I really don't care for it. I like mine better. I'm not seeing anything in here that would be of use. What the hell's so important about this facility in here? I mean, I know we have the little waypoint out there, but... I, I, with the whole AI, also, why can we not look through that window the other way? <laughs> look at that! That's just... Good job, Bethesda. You, uh... You done messed up there. Yeah, I'm, uh, I was hoping maybe there'd be some more stuff in here, but I'm not seeing anything. Okay, well, let's go check out the other waypoint. No computer, no. Anything else in here that I might be missing? Mentats? Yeah, we'll take those. Uh, Alright, well, let's check in here. Arnmark Grave? Oh, uh, boy. Hi. Okay. Avery. Oh, Jesus. He killed Avery. He, he replaced Avery with a synth. Oh, for the love of God. Okay. Avery's skull. Why did I take Avery's skull? <laughs> is, it, is it going to be painful? Mm hmm. Yes. It's going to be like having everything you are ripped out. And replaced with something else. Whoa. Someone else. I'm ready. I just I wish I could say goodbye to everyone. No one else can know. This isn't just about infiltrating Far Harbor. It's about becoming the human that synths drawn here need to meet. Okay. Reasonable. Willing to accept them as just another living thing. No greater or lesser than humanity itself. You'll be part of the bridge between our two worlds. That all vanishes the moment anyone discovers that it's been manufactured. That you're a sin. Did she have to die? 
the, the woman I'm replacing. God, she looks so peaceful lying there. Don't. Please. That blood is on my hands, not yours. Specifically this blood. Wow, okay, so Demon killed Avery and replaced her. Okay. Okay. Huh, so what do we got here? Report back to Kasumi. Tell Far Harbor about Avery's murder. Confront Dima. Ooh, so we choose sides. Honestly, I'm kind of a I'm I'm kind of the type of person who's like, you know, big picture type thing. And he's trying to find a safe harbor for his people. I I'm uh and the far people of Far Harbor, for the most part, have kind of been dicks to me. <laughs> well, not not so much after I did the whole captain's dance thing. But Nick, you got anything to say about this? For you. Nope. Never mind. Oh, decisions, decisions. Why do we have to take her freaking skull? That just seems tremendously sacrilegious. There. All right. Well, back up we go. Oh boy. So who to choose? Who to choose? Going. I'm kind of thinking we just confront Dima. I'm, I'm gonna go with that one on there. I'm still not entirely sold on Kasumi, whether or not she's synth or human. So, that's a thing. So yeah, I think maybe just, uh, in Far Harbor, like I said, I mean, even though, yes, I they, they were dicks to me ages ago. They really haven't been in a quite a long time, but still, I mean, I kind of understand what Dima would have done. I kind of understand why. I don't condone the methodology. But I understand a bit. <laughs> He's trying to find a safe harbor for his people. Uh, hmm. I'm a little torn on this one. Which is surprising, considering in the main Fallout game, I was very much a on the side of how in the hell do we know since are actually, you know, sentient. Uh, but with this, because of the evidence at the time we had, did not convince me that synths were sentient. The only oddity was Nick. But he could have just been a very well-programmed thing. But, I don't know, with the Dima situation, I'm, I'm a little bit more apt to say that they are... Kinda? <laughs> or at the very least, Dima and Nick are, because they were prototypes. And perhaps they went too far in the whole realm of uh, having free will and sentience, etc. And so the Institute was like, nope, nope. Let's get rid of these guys, backtrack, and go with a synth that doesn't. So I'm... Uh, hmm. I kind of think I'm kind of on the side of Dima perhaps having sentience and Nick perhaps. But the other synths, honestly, I'm still not so sure about. But yeah, let's go. So because of that, let's go talk with uh, Dima. I think we're going to go in that way. Yes. Yes. Or, you know, I could just say screw it all and go talk to the Institute and be like, hey, I found these synths. <laughs> that is still an option. We could always go and do that if we so desired. But no, let's go. Let's go talk with Dima. Let's go talk with Dima. I've made up my mind on that front. Oh, the fusion core removed. Ah, oh, damn. I was going to remove that first before it uh, ran out. Oh, well. Say la vie. All right, Dima, you got some splaining to do. Some serious splaining. All right, in we go. Oh, he's walking around. He's not in his chair. I hope you don't mind, but I had Chase shadow you. Did you? She saw you entering and leaving the nucleus. Uh huh. Yeah, that was so, easy. So, what was in my memory banks? Oh Are yeah, I forget he doesn't remember. Resolving the conflict on this island peacefully. <laughs> oh, 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, there's a nuclear launch key. I have a memory of yours about a nuclear launch key. You knew how to detonate the sub in the nucleus all along. Give me a moment. I need to remember for myself. Did did I like bring the memories with me? So. I chose to forget the launch key even existed. Poor Confessor Martin. Was I lying to him all that time? The submarine yes. is rusted into the dry dock. 
The only target that missile is ever going to hit is the base itself. Ah! The nucleus. Where the children of Adam live. We have to keep that key out of the wrong hands. Too true. The nucleus has innocent people living there among the zealots threatening Far Harbor. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, da, 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 da. <laughs> we should destroy them both. Ah. Is the nucleus even worth saving? Don't judge them by what Confessor Tectus has done. He's used their fears and hatred to turn them into a weapon against Far Harbor. Too true. But there's still time to turn them away from that. Can, can we just kill Tectus then? Fine, I'll protect I'll them. I'll make sure no one else gets their hands on that key. Thank you. Was there anything else in my memories? Oh yeah, oh Some yeah. We're... way we can work towards peace? <laughs> you know, really? No. Frankly, you have a way to kill the nucleus and we have a way to kill Far Harbor. Um, wind turbine kill One switch. memories was about a kill switch you installed to shut down power to Far Harbor. And let the fog take them. It's all here on this holotape. Ah, I did bring back the holotapes. I remember. I was afraid that Far Harbor might turn against us. See us as too different for their precious island. So I made a contingency plan. Mass murder. Mm -hmm. I hid the kill switch code because I couldn't stomach the thought of actually using it. Then I hid the memory because I couldn't even stand knowing I made it. What have I done? What have you done, sir? If the children of Adam were to ever get a hold of that code, they would destroy Far Harbor. Oh, yeah, they would. So why save Far Harbor? Why save them? Don't the children have reasons for hating Far Harbor? When the fog got worse... The people of Far Harbor killed a child of Adam missionary. There's been nothing but hatred and bloodshed since. But murder is not the solution. Okay, well, I'll protect them. Damn it, why do I have to be so good? We literally could destroy them all. <laughs> Don't worry, Dina. The uh, will get that code. I'll protect Far Harbor. Good. Now we just need to find some way to end this conflict. Have you found anything else in my memories? Well, synth replacement. Memories led me to a gravesite. You killed Captain Avery and replaced her with a synth so you could control Far Harbor. What? That's impossible. Let me see what you found. You I, did it. I did it. I killed a woman from Far Harbor and replaced her. I stripped a synth's identity from her and made her an agent. Hmm. That was actually some half-decent voice acting for this game. He actually seemed genuine, genuinely like, wow, holy shit, I did that. Why did you do it? Why did you do it? I needed to calm Far Harbor. A moderate voice. An example of what humanity should be. How we could exist together as equals. But I couldn't live with the memories of the blood on my hands. A human and a synth are both gone because of me. Mm hmm. Hmm. So we either go that he did the right thing, he's a fraud, or let's proceed. I'm. G hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I'm genuinely torn on this one. Interesting. I know this, this is a lot to take in. You know, it really is, Demon, so I would help you not interrupting me. So, I mean, uh, uh, I don't know entirely how I feel about this one. I know what I said earlier, that I kind of, that I kind of understand why he did it. But at the same time, I don't approve of it. Take your time. Yeah, 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 damn this it, not damn a it, Dima. <laughs> hasty decisions. I'm just gonna go with let's proceed. I'm just gonna go with let's proceed. Let's be practical. How do we proceed from here? You're right. We have to focus on what has to be done now. Indeed. Is that what you call justice? Because I sure don't. I'm Shut up, Nick. <laughs> 
starting to see things more clearly. We have to keep this secret from Far Harbor. If they knew I had done this, they wouldn't destroy just me. They'd come after Acadia, and mm -hmm. then without us, the fog condensers will eventually fall into disrepair. Everyone will die. I have an idea. There's still a way we can bring peace. But the fact that I've replaced a human with a synth must remain hidden. Okay, okay. Um, anyone else involved? So you did all of that on your own. No one else in Acadia is involved. What I've done goes against all of our ideals. I even hid it from myself. So, no, there can't be anyone else. Fair enough, fair enough. Well, I'll keep your secret. I'll keep your secret, Dima. Thank you. Maybe the guilt will keep me focused. That didn't seem to stop him before. As horrifying as it might be to suggest, this memory you've recovered has given us a new option. Uh huh. If Far Harbor could be made more tranquil by our intervention, then perhaps the same trick will work twice on the children of Atom. We could replace High Confessor Tectus I'm with kind of someone okay with this. willing to forgive <laughs> Far Harbor and work towards reconciling. Nick, you may want to turn away. You're not going to like what I have to say here. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I don't like Tectus. I'm, I'm kind of okay with this. Um, uh, I'll ask. There must be another way. We could make things right. None that I can see. The authority of the High Confessor is absolute. The children of Atom won't see the need for peace unless he changes his mind. Mm-hmm. Well, if it means peace. If it means peace for the island. All right. Tell me the plan. This will be difficult for both of us. Eh. But I think it's our only option. I'll need you to leverage your access to the High Confessor and lure him to a secluded location. You should be able to find a spot in the Bay's old command center where you can deal with him discreetly and hide the remains. Once your work is done, return here and the replacement will move in and take command. Okay, okay. Um... There we go. You really think you can get together a convincing replacement? Yes. Helping synths recover what they've lost means we've had to become familiar with memory wipes and facial reconstruction. And I knew Tectus very well when I was still living in the submarine base. I'll use that as the basis for our replacement's new memories. You simply need to deal with the real Confessor Tectus while I... Prepare a volunteer. Okay, okay. Well, let's do it. Okay. I'll do it. Any ideas on how I can get him alone? Tectus lives in fear of being usurped by his predecessor, Martin. Despite that, in all likelihood, Martin is dead. But if you somehow uncovered evidence of Martin's imminent return, I expect Tectus would be interested hearing all you know in private all we have to do is manufacture martin's uprising to do so i'll need raw material martin recorded many of our conversations mm -hmm. those in the nucleus have certainly been destroyed but i built a small refuge for martin many years ago when he needed respite from the family go there and collect any tapes you can find I'll begin work on our replacement. And here, I want you to have this as well for what you've done for us. Okay. Meh. It's all right. Okay, we'll take it. You're not happy with me, Nick, are you? You're not happy with me in the slightest now. But okay, that is actually going to be it for today's episode, folks. I hope you all have enjoyed. And of course, you do come back for the next win. We recover holotapes and then eventually kill Tectus. Bum bum bum.
it's gonna be fun. All right, folks, so uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for today. I already did this part, but what the heck, have a good one. Later, folks.